If this is what your camera and gimbal look like when you turn your Phantom 3 Pro on, I'm going to show you how to fix the set screw on the shaft so that it defaults in its correct center position. This is the set screw that you need to be looking for. Right now this is flipped upside down. As you can see, right here. And so this hex screw is supposed to be holding this arm to a shaft inside this motor right here. Little bitty thing. It's a T6. I think I got this from an Apple iFixit thing for an Apple Mac Mini. Now in my case the screw was missing. Uh, for some of you guys the screw might just be loose and you'll have to tighten it but before you tighten it you need to make sure that you're tightening the screw against the keyed part the flat part of the keyed shaft and I'm going to show you so here's that shaft okay the flat part is right here they call that a keyed shaft you want your screw hole be lined up with the flat part of the keyed shaft and that's how I have it right now but that's not how it was when I got it this flat section was actually 90 degrees clockwise so it was over here and I had to do something a little bit strange to get it to move back to this position and I'm going to show you what I did See, right now it's moving with the gimbal arm. And I didn't want that to happen. I want the shaft to remain put so that I can swivel this gimbal arm around it. Okay, so what I did was I just took this, this T6 screwdriver and I pressed up against like this, up against the flat part with a pretty good amount of pressure and then I turned and by doing that and, and being very careful and taking my time after a few minutes I was able to get this this shaft would stop rotating with the gimbal arm and finally uh, I got it to just line up just right so right now I'm gonna screw on that hex screw onto that flat part and we're going to see if my camera will default to its correct position. Okay, so now all I did was put this screw in and tighten it down pretty good. And it seems to be flush against this shaft in here. Against the flat part. So I'm going to turn it on and we'll see what happens. And that's it. That is 1,000% better than what it was. I'm now going to do the calibrations that you find in the app. And it should be good to go.